Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial. In this session, I'm going to solve a question from the topic the earth is a sphere. So we're going to find distance along the meridian in kilometers and then in nautical miles. And then we're going to find speed in kilometers per hour and then in nodes. So just in case, if you haven't subscribed to my channels, please think about doing so now. And if you do like the this video, please remember to like and leave me a comment. Thank you. So let's start the session. So what do we have? Well, we're told a ship travels along a meridian of longitude from 26 degrees north, 135 degrees east, to 33 degrees north, 135 degrees east, in eight hours. Find the distance traveled in first kilometers, nautical miles, and then we need to find the average speed in kilometers and then in knots. So what do we have here? Well, we are traveling along the same longitude. So that means we're traveling along the surface of the earth, but also we have the radius of the earth. A great circle has the radius of the earth. So let's write that down. The radius of the earth is roughly 6,370 kilometers. Now, we are also uh, told we are traveling on the meridian of longitude, but we can see that from the information that we have 135 degrees east at the start of our journey and we also finish our journey at 135 degrees east. So let's say this is our center of the earth and this our just that one longitude, longitude that we travel in. So remember uh, that is the one that is 135 degrees east. We are going along that great circle. That means we have the uh, radius of the earth. Now let's say this is our equator, which is zero degrees. We start our journey at 26 degrees north. So we count our degrees from the equator. So 26 degrees north, let's say that's the one there, 26 degrees north. That is where we have our latitude. Then we have our second latitude at 33 degrees north, which means that's our end our journey of our journey. So this is now 33 degrees north. So the angle from there to there, that is the one that is 33 degrees from zero degrees. So this is 26 degrees and this whole angle from zero to there, that is 33 degrees. Now what we have, that's the center of our earth and this is the radius of the earth. Simple really, what are we looking for? We're looking for the distance from this latitude to this other latitude, this distance here. That is what we are looking for. That's the distance. And if I sketch that over here, you will see all we have that's the center of our earth and this is part of our uh, great circle which is 135 degrees east and we are traveling from 26 degrees to 33 degrees north let me put the north as well that means the angular difference from where I start my journey to where I finish my journey is 33 take away 26 degrees, which is 7 degrees. So looking at this, all you have now is just a sector. And you're looking for the arc length. What's the formula for the arc length? Well, you know, it's just the angle there, which we call alpha in this case, so length of the arc is alpha divided by 360 because you have 360 degrees in the whole circle times the circumference which is 2 times pi times what circle do we have here? 
just the radius of the earth. So just radius of the earth. So distance from 26 to 33 degrees north is going to be in kilometers. So this is part A. In kilometers is going to be equal to our alpha is the angular difference between the two latitudes, which is 7 degrees, divided by 360 degrees times 2 times pi times the radius of the earth, 6,370 kilometers, which is going to give you 778.24 kilometers. That is that really. And for B, we are asked to find distance in nautical miles. Well, that's an easy one. We're not we're not dealing with distance along the latitude where we have cos, theta and all that. This is just distance along the longitude. So it's simple distance in nautical miles is going to be 60 minutes times the angular difference between the two latitudes, which is simple 7 degrees. Now multiply those two, 6 times 7, 42, and my 0 at the end, and that's in nautical miles. Part B completed. And now for part C, we're asked to find, first of all, uh, speed in kilometers per hour. That's, diff that's easy, because speed, what is speed? Speed is just distance over time. If we want it in kilometers per hour, then we just take the distance in kilometers, which is going to be, what did we have? 778.24. And we were given the time is 8 hours. So that's just simple divide by 8. And that is going to give you 97.28 kilometers per hour. Now for the second part uh, of C then, I will call it I, I, we need to find speed in knots. So speed in knots. Well, this is just nautical miles per hour. So which means we need to use the distance that is in nautical miles and then just simple divide with our given time. So we found the distance in nautical miles as 420 nautical miles divided by 8 and this is going to give you 52.5 knots. And that is all you need to do. So thank you for watching and bye for now.